Okay, folks, we're going to go through some of the electrics again now. We've had a couple of requests just to go through the wiring. It can be a little confusing for some people um, who haven't done this sort of thing before. So we just aim to help as much as we can. And I think the main confusion was the colour of the wires on the box don't match necessarily the colours of the wires going in. But everything is written on the instructions that you get with the bike. And as it says on the back, there are more instructions and pictures on the website. So please have a look there as well. If you still have any problems, then please feel free to give us a call. We're here to help. Um, the, uh, I'm not going to open this one because it's, um, it's all packed away. But on here, we have um, red and blue thick wire on the main motor. And that goes into, if we look at the instructions, the motor, red and blue, thick, blue and white. Uh, sorry, red and black, so it's red and black on the motor, go to the thick blue and white, so we've got red and black to blue and white. Now once this is connected up to the actual piece in here, and you have to make sure you fit it to the right piece, so we've got two large pieces, one's for the battery, and one is for the motor. So we know the motor, which is the red and black, thick red and black, is going to go in to the blue and white so we need to make sure the right connector fits because one of these is male and the other is a female as you can see they're not going to go but this one will it'll put right in there and um, so this one this connector which is what we would class as the female connector will connect to the thick blue and thick black of the motor which will go to the thick blue and the thick white of the control box so that's the first part. I'll put that to one side. The next bit, uh, we're going to have a look at the throttle. Now the throttle is the only one with three wires. And this one's got a red, black and green. And the only one with three wires on the control box is this one here. And it actually says Duralia on it. And it's red, black and blue. But it's the only three wired connection. And it's the only connector that this can fit onto won't fit onto any of the others so you can't go too wrong with that it's the only one that will fit we'll put that to one side have a look at the next piece that comes and this one is the charging port if we go through our little um, control box here we have charging port which is a thin black and thin red which also goes to a thin black and thin red and if we look at our little bag of tricks, so again, before you mount your wire onto your connector box, let me just take these out, just check, so before you put the wires in here and clip them in, let's check that it fits the right one. So this is the charging port, see it's a little two pin connector, let's go through them until we get the right one, we'll put them on the wrong way. And there we have it, that one will fit. We could use that one. We could use that one. Oh, let's see if we've got three out of three. Well, we could use that one, so any of those three will fit. So these must be quite standard ones. And we connect them up. Again, let's just look inside. So the charging port, and it's got two small blades it's the smaller of the blades that we're using which is the these silver ones they all fit in so we're going to connect these to the wires we'll put oh hang on oh it's already got them on look what am i saying there we go this has already got the white the controls on so these will just push through until they come out to the other side you push them right through and they'll click i'll not do it now because uh, i don't want to connect them and we've got blue, uh, sorry, red and black, red and black. This is how it will connect in to red and black. Push them through until it clicks. You'll hear the little click. You can see a little spring on the system at the back there. So it'll push on and click. So it comes out the other side, as will the red. I'm not doing it now because this is our new kit we're going to be sending out. So that's the charging port. And this is the same as the instructions. It's all on there. Let's have a look at the keys. So the key is already fitted onto um, a, 
plastic uh, connector. So let's go through them. So let's find, so we've got the drill, the battery. We know it's not any of those. Indicator, and here we have it, power locks. So we've got it saying power locks on there. It's a thin blue and a thin red. Let's see if that matches up. Key switch, thin red, thin blue. It says key switch on the instructions. It actually says power locks on the sticker, but this is the one. And that will just push straight on there. So we've got that into place. So that's the lock done. We know where that goes. And then we're down to the others. And these were some, uh, where there's some confusion. Uh, we've got two brakes. Left and right brake. We only have one brake here. So we've got the brake, which is the yellow and black, and the brake light, which is black and red. We normally suggest doing the right hand brake to the black and yellow, which says brake on it. So again, we'll connect these through the boxes and pot it, pot it into the, uh, the brake. So right hand brake goes to black and yellow. Left hand brake goes to brake light, which is black and red. And the main difference between these two is the brake on the right, which is the black and yellow, and it says brake. When you press that one, it also cuts the motor off. So it's cut the motor off and it'll engage the brake. And the other one will set on a brake light. Now you don't have a brake light, so it doesn't matter. So it's probably your more dominant hand, which is the right hand side, that will cut off the motor at the back and stop you. Uh, the, the next part that we've got is quite straightforward. That's in here. Again, you have to fit it, take it out of the bag and fit it. But there's a very thin black and a very thin red wire in there that says to the light. On your instructions, it, um, it isn't written on there, which is the light. But if we look through the little plastic um, ports, we have one that says, let me have a look where it is, there it is, indicator. So this will be the one. Why it says indicator, that just confuses matters. If it says indicator, uh, that's the one we're going to put to our light that's in here. And this is really just supplying the 12, 24 volts to the lamp, so it's a simple on and off switch. So that's the only one left. We've gone through derailleur, which is your accelerator. We've got brake light and brake, which connected to your brakes. Power lock, which connected to your keys. Charging point, which connects to charging point, the blue and white, which is connected to the motor, and the only one that's left then is the black and red, the thick black and red, and you'll have, which will go to the battery. Okay, and the phone's ringing. Thanks for watching.